Hello friendlies and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a DIY craft video and in this one I am going to be upcycling my backpack. So about a week ago I was in TJ Maxx looking in the clearance aisle and I found this backpack and I really liked that it was made of canvas and I thought it would be a great idea to add patches and possibly embroider it to upcycle it a little bit more and help it fit my style. So that is what I'm going to be doing today, so stay tuned if you want to see more. Alrighty, so here are a few of my patches that I have, and I'm not really sure which ones I should go with. Alright, so these are all the patches I have currently, and honestly, I'm not sure which ones to choose. I might go with this one because I think it's absolutely adorable, and I think it'd go very good with my backpack. And I might go with this one as well, it's this cute little lollipop. And then maybe this one as well. I think it goes really good with the pig patch. And I'm not sure about these four because they all have the same theme. This one's a UFO, this one's space, this one's space, and this one of course is the X-Files. So I might save these for a different project. And these two, they go together. And I think I might put these on the back of my jean jacket. I think that one goes well with this one too. So I might just put these three on my backpack today and I might get a few patches later on. We'll just have to see. And then later on I am going to embroider my backpack but I might save that for a part two. So as you can probably tell, these three patches are actually iron-on, so I'm going to real quick get my iron ready and then pop them on my backpack. And I'd just like to give a shout out to the person who made these, it's Belle's Art World, and I will leave a link to her Etsy shop in the description down below. So as you can probably tell, on the back of the patch they have this step-by-step -step guide on how to apply it. So step one is to set your iron on the hottest temperature setting and don't use steam. So I just did that. And then it says place your patch in the desired position and place a pressing cloth over the top of it. So I have a old handkerchief that I will be using. And then it says press the iron straight down for 35 to 45 seconds with as much constant pressure as possible. Then step four is to turn it inside out and repeat. Step number five is allow the patch to cool down. Now I need to figure out where I want the patches to be. So here's my backpack. I think I might put either the corgi patch or the piggy patch right there. I think I kind of like the piggy patch right up here in the middle. And then I could probably embroider around it. And then I might do something kind of like that. I think that looks pretty good. So I have my iron ready right here. And then I'm going to take this cloth and set it underneath my backpack just to help support it. And I think I'm going to start with the piggy patch right up here. Now the part I've always been really OCD about is getting it centered and straight. Now I'll take my handkerchief, I'm going to place it on top of it. Now I'm going to take my iron and place it on top. So that's what it looks like. I'm now going to let it cool off for a little bit. And now I think I'm going to put the little corgi one on, probably right here. 
So I'm gonna take my rag, wad it up, and place it right inside. And then take my handkerchief, and then place the iron on top of it. And then I'm gonna let that patch cool off too. And now I'm gonna work on the lollipop right here. And that is the lollipop. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like all finished up. I really like the way it turned out and I'm definitely going to get more patches in the future and I know I'm going to try to embroider around the patches and I'll definitely be uploading that in a future video. So if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!